Well, hello everyone. This is Bishop Deborah Vaughn, and this is another prayer on the go with Bishop Deb. I am on the go today. I've got more voice. I tried to record something twice yesterday and ended up in a huge coughing fit, so I am confident that I can hang in for this one. I am looking at a frozen site. I'm sitting outside in my car of the Niagara River, down by the river, and it is very sluggish today. Ice flows are going by. They're, I can't believe the, the seagulls and the ducks and water fowl that are, you know, they, I guess they still have to eat, and uh, they're du- ducking and diving and in that cold, cold water and sort of hovering. I guess they're looking below the surface for for their food. It's, you know, many of us have it so easy when we think of how nature has to go every day into that icy water, burrow, you know, burrowing under the, the snow in this part of the world to find something to eat. I saw a cardinal in the tree the other day, and she'd found some berries on the, the branch outside my house, and I was happy to see that she could have some food. It's so many struggles and I know that so many of us struggle with things in our own lives we offer prayers for people who are sick for all those who are having challenges facing challenges today remember that just as the seasons pass so too the seasons and circumstances of our life change with prayer we can change things for the better at all times. Some people believe that God visits these terrible tests and trials on people, and I don't ascribe to that. I don't believe that for a minute. I think that because we're human, we're subject to disease and and unpleasant things from time to time. Sometimes because of our own decisions or choices, we end up in places where we'd rather not be. But God is there. God is constant. God sends angels to help us. And so when we put ourselves in that mindset, when we pray for help, when we ask for help, we are not refused. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to have the solution come to us. Sometimes it's there and we don't see it. But the solution does come, and a way will be made. A way will be made. Hang tight. We think of all the people who are out in this terrible weather. It's very, very cold here. Not so cold as it has been the last few days, but it's bitter. It's, it's, um, it's very, very cold for to be out in any length of time. I'm watching... Uh, people walking by just on their daily walks and they're all bundled up they can barely just just see their noses it's it's cold it's very frigid on the on the fingers and toes especially down here by the water and i think of all the people that have to be out there working today those people who are fixing the hydro lines those people who are helping with all kinds of Uh, outdoor things, the construction workers, and for those who have no place to go, those who are homeless, those who are without a, a shelter. We think of all those people everywhere who who need a safe harbor. And so let's pray for ourselves and for our friends and family and and for the world. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day of days, this new beginning to the week. We ask that you bless us, that you hallow our time, that you help us to understand your hand at work in our lives, that we can see the path clearing before us, so that we know that we are indeed safe that we are indeed protected by your angels. Surround us this day by your grace. We pray for all 
whom we know who are going through tough times, challenges that are almost unbearable. We ask that you work mightily in their lives. Help them to overcome all the circumstances that that hold them down. Free them. Prosper them. Help them to succeed. We pray for all who are, are, are ill and facing seasonal colds and flus and those who are, are experiencing something a bit more serious. We ask that your healing touch be upon them, that they would be restored in body, mind, and spirit. And we lift all our cares and concerns to you, knowing that you know our needs even before we ask. Gracious God, touch our lives this day. Fill us with your love. Fill us with hope, with inspiration. Bring to us people who can help us in our various needs. May we be blessed and know your blessing upon us. And God, we pray for this world, this beautiful creation of yours. We pray for all who are vulnerable, for all who are in any need, those who are experiencing things that we can hardly understand, those who are facing injustice, violence, oppression, danger, those who are truly without any place to go. We ask that your angels surround them and bring them to safe havens. We pray for the leaders of the nations that they would be wise rulers, that they would govern with compassion and kindness and sincerity. We pray for this planet and ask that all who dwell on it would be mindful of its fragility. We ask that we would work together to heal this planet, to heal its people and creatures, to heal one another. And we do that with great love and compassion. Shine your light in every heart this day. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me as I watch the seagulls soaring by this, on this very, very cold day. I pray that you are safe and you are warm and know that you are well. Blessings in your day.